Hey, how y'all doing out there today? Sorry, me. Get a little down there. <laughs> but, um, I want to um, talk to y'all about something. But first, let's get into a, um, a prayer. <clears throat> Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see you new day. Watch over us and guide us and guard us and protect us throughout this day, Father God, and show us the way. And what are our steps to do, Father God, and lead us throughout this day? And I pray, Father God, that you come through me, Father God, at this moment in time, Father God, in order to give them absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment in time, Father God, in order to give the people absolute truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer. Amen. Now, uh, bear with me now at this moment in time, okay? Because it might be a little distraction as it was the other day. So, I want to speak about something. I don't want to just get off into no, uh, there's no topic and things like this, but uh, what's going on is, and I want y'all to uh, know these things because the Bible is true. Most people say that uh, I, don't believe, I don't believe everything the Bible says, okay? I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was like, uh, I don't believe uh, everything that the Bible says. And I was trying to get him to know and to understand that yes, the Bible is true. God has worked that Bible. Jesus has worked that Bible. How do you think that prophecies is playing out throughout this earth today? And you tell me that that Bible is not true. Okay? So, at this moment in time, guys, so some people might come up to me at this moment in time too, and I want y'all to know what I do is I preach the word of God also. So I'm not just out here just uh, doing a thing, but I also preach the word too. See this? I also preach the word too. Okay? Um, so some people might come up to me for supplying something like that. So y'all be in the conversation <laughs> and see the things and how I teach, these, teach them and who they are and how to come into God and things like that then you'll know, you know, how you can go by and doing the same, but also be taught as well. Um, I don't claim to be no prophet or anything, you know, but I just, I, um, I do the will of my father. And it is a great honor to do this good. You know, um, it, um, I've been through a lot, you know, um, to, 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 to. Give me one second. Wait, even if I talk on that, like I said, it's gonna be some distance. But like I said, um, it took a lot for me to do this with a month. Okay. So, um, with these things and walking with the Lord and doing these things. It, 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 it takes a lot of real power. Hello. It takes a lot of real power. Your mind, your body, and your spirit. And that's what I teach about with these, with these things. I mean, with my clients. I teach about the mind, the body, and the spirit about what you uh, uh, need to know about this world, what's coming, and what's happening, okay? So, um, and it's not me who speaks, <laughs> but it is he who speaks, okay? So I want y'all to know these things. So I don't just be talking to be uh, tough. I want y'all to know that the things that I'm talking about is because he either wants me to talk about it or it's something that is happening or about to happen. Okay? Um, 
So that's why I say I don't, I don't have to claim to be a prophet to be a prophet. And I'm not saying that I'm a prophet, because I'm more than just a prophet. Um, you couldn't understand. I couldn't tell you these things because you would not know me. And when I tell you these things, you will tell me I'm lying. So for me to not, for us to not get in that conversation, I'd rather not tell you. <laughs> you know? So it's best to stay, it's best to just, it's best to just keep quiet about things, you know, and just let things happen. And just, I'll let you see for what it is. That is his, uh, those are surprises and things that him and Jesus does uh, for people and things like that. And um, he, um, he, 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 he surprises people, you know, he surprises. Um, he, uh, he confounds the wise of men, okay? He take the wise, for the men that think in their wise, he confound. He take a foolish thing, and he confound the wise and men. Okay, he makes those things look like if they wasn't never wise, or they were not never there. Okay, so I want you to know. All right, that everything that in the Bible speaks of is true. All right, so what's going to happen? Children of God is inheriting the earth. The children of God is going to inherit the earth. You hear me? So I don't care what nobody thinks, I don't care what nobody say, it does not matter. These prophecies are in the word. They're in the world. And guess what? They're going to come to pass. For those who mocked the Father, for those who mocked the children of God, for those who came up against God, for those who came up, a up against the children of God, those will be put to shame. Understand? Those who mocked God, those who mocked Jesus, those who mock the Father, those who mock the children of God will be put to shame. Understand when I say this. For everything that they tried to do of bringing the children of God down and to bringing God down and to bringing God down and trying to bring God and Jesus down trying to bring the children of God down. Things that you've spoken of, the things that you said, the things that you've done, you will fall back into. Because of the nonsense that you've done. Well, like I told you, judgment has come. All right, how you doing? And he's separating the wheat from the shack. He's separating the, the light from the dark. Okay? But what's about to happen, though? Is these things have to take place because it's to unite people to the kingdom of God. Do you understand this? It does not matter how many or who or what tries to get in the way of the prophecies of God. They will not stand. I don't care how big, how bad, how famous, how it does not matter who you are. It does not matter who you are. You're not famous than God and Jesus. You're not more famous than them. And they don't claim to be famous. They just run the universe. And they run operations of heaven, the universe. Earth and all the other planets and all the living things and everything around here. Okay, so I want you to know that everything that they have, they spoken, and everything that they have a covenant with in the earth and the universe, it shall go forth. No matter 
what man think. No matter what man do. Understand. I just speak because I want you to know what's real and what's of God. But whoso believe on the child, uh, who, who, for whosoever believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that you are of God. But not only that, that you believe that Jesus was raised from the dead, that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, then you are a believer in God and that you will be saved. Okay? Understand? But you have to know. You have to know that these things that are spoken and has been spoken in the word and has been spoken by God and Jesus, that these things are actually true. Jesus and God cannot lie. It's in them. But they cannot lie. You understand? So, there's nothing that man can do. The Father will hold his promises. He's going to make sure that all his promises and prophecies and everything that he's spoken over the children of God, over the people of the world, and everything that everything that he spoke shall come to pass. You understand? The children of God will inherit the earth. But the wicked ones, they will be shamed. And some people will go into captivity, which are the Gentiles. For those that try to keep the people and children of God from the promises. You got to answer to God now. For the things that you've done and the things that you said in the name of the Father. And left his name in vain and in blasphemy and all those things that you said. In the Father's name. For those which were not true, you're going to answer to God. This is real. God is real. Jesus is real. The things I speak of is real. I don't even say much. I just get on here. I do what I'm told. I say what he wants me to say. Things go forth. But I want you to know because it's been a tax on people, it's been a tax on people. Um, man, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, it's been a lot that goes on. And like today, another attack, you know, but it's okay. You gotta keep on going, no matter what. You gotta, still gotta keep going, guys. Still gotta keep going. But this is the thing: stay in your word, do some fasting, do some praying, uh, keep the Sabbath, follow, be obedient, follow the commandments of the Father, and you do His will. And when you do those things, and you move in faith, and you do all these things, then you're able to come into the will of God. Yeah, but you have to commune with him. You have to be with him every day, up and down, up and down. You have to make him your purpose. Have a good one, brother. You have to make, he has to be your one and only. He has to be your bread, butter, water. He has to be what you wake up and eat in the morning time. He has to be what you wake up and think in the morning time. He has to be that number one. Okay? So, for the children of God, ye shall inherit the earth. We are fin to inherit the earth. Okay? So, I want you to know 
But the thing that you do, you know, you get, get rejoice and things like that, but also still do the things of God. No matter what you come into. It does not matter what you come into. Nothing is more than God. Understand it. I don't care what it is. He be a piece of gum. <laughs> it could be a piece of gum. Not more than God. So therefore, I don't care for earthly things like that. It's okay to have things. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to have things because God gives you these things. But don't make them no idols. God comes first in everything and anything that you do. And you keep it that way. And you keep moving that way. And you see how more important than God is than the earth. Okay? This is how you will know the importance of God. This is how you will understand that how important he is. And how, um, how can I say this? How important, not, not saying like uh, how important he is, but how um, reverence it is like to commune with him, to be with him every day. Okay? This is how important this is right now at this moment in time. And even from right now at this moment in time, until on down the road, 100 years later down the road. Same thing. So, I pray y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in time. Do some fasting, do some praying, get in your word, commune with the Lord, build a relationship with God. And not only that, this is God's good news for you today. I thank you for listening to these messages, and y'all be blessed. Amen.